Why did we come here on this field trip? Ashini, we're here to learn about the great grasslands in Coach Cameron's class. The grassland is so boring, right? Ashini, the grassland is not boring. What's not boring about it, Callie? Well... Oh, no. Lesson time. Whoa, how'd we get here? Anyway, did you know that grasslands are in North America, South America, Asia, Australia, Europe, and Africa? Really? I didn't know that. Is there anything else interesting about the grasslands? Of course. Did you know that in the winter it gets to be negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the summer it gets to be 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and the rainfall during the year is 25 to 130 centimeters? Whoa. Okay, and some natural disasters that happen are fires, as you can see in the background, droughts, dust storms, and floods. Ah, get us out of here! How can anyone live here? The animals in the grassland don't mind living there until the fires come and kill off all the plants. Then they have nothing to eat and they tend to starve. However, when it's good, they don't mind living there, but when it's bad, it's really hard for them. Oh, I know where we are. We're sitting in the grass which happens to be a producer for the grassland. That's right, Ashini. Do you know anything else about the grassland? No, I don't. Oh, brother. Fine, Miss Know-It-All. Are there any consumers in the grasslands? Well, of course, Ashini. There are butterflies, which are herbivores, hyenas, which are carnivores, zebras, which are omnivores, vultures, which are scavengers, and bacteria, which is a decomposer. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yep. What is this? Oh, Sheeny, you know what it is. It's the food chain. Oh. Yeah. So, Callie, is there anything else interesting about the animals in the grassland? Yes, there is. Fact number one, grasslands are considered a traditional biome, which means that they are usually found between the desert and the forest. Fact number two, in Africa, the national parks are being set up to preserve the grasslands that will help these animals, such as lions and elephants. And then fact number three, there are three types of grasslands. Tall grasslands, mixed grasslands, and short grasslands. Amazing. Well, that's our project. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye.